<laughs> so what that is, is um, there's scientific evidence and you can go online, you could Google it. Basically, um, if you put fleas in a jar, right, a regular jar, and the, the fleas can jump out of the jar. They'll jump two, three times the height of that jar. If you put a lid on that same jar that they can jump three times higher than the jar and you leave the fleas there for three days, takes about three days of them hitting their head, they'll actually recalibrate and you can take the lid off of it and the flea will jump up to just below the lid. But what's really crazy about that, that would make sense, right? Pain, but they'll have as much as 5,000 offsprings and those 5,000 offsprings will never jump higher, even though their bodies and anatomically, they're all able to jump three times higher than the jar, none of them will ever jump out of the jar because they're indoctrinated. And it's a metaphor I use uh, in the book, not even a metaphor, it's science, right? That I use in the book to think about how we get stuck in the jars based on our language and based on our belief system and what we see around us that our environment conditions us to believe certain things. Like I believe I'm a certain way because I'm a human. I believe I'm a certain way because I'm an American. I believe a certain way because I was in this family. And a lot of times, I mean, our language, we learn 5,000 words by the time we're five. So the constraint of that jar comes in through, right in through our language before we've even picked up a dictionary. So that, that essence that constrains us actually gets indoctrinated in our language that actually creates our belief systems before we even have, have an opportunity to figure out whether we believe it or not. Um, I think, well, my first really big one, bust out, was 12 years old with my own business. Obviously, when I told people that I was gonna start my own business at 12 years old, like, people didn't believe me. Uh, parents didn't believe me, didn't, you know, people told me I couldn't do it, you're not old enough. So for me, there wasn't one person who actually was supportive other than maybe my mom was kind of having fun with the idea that I could do it. And my dad didn't want to say, don't do it. So I, I went ahead and did it. And what's interesting is the resistance that I got from people telling me that I couldn't start my own business or that not to start my own business actually fed me the energy to actually go over and above that. So it was proven I could jump out of that jar. Or like the Jonathan Livingston seagull about the seagull who dives like a, like a whatever, eagle. It's that sense of jumping out of the jar or breaking through um, that I had to prove to myself. And then when I got outside on the other side of having my own business and things started to roll, I was in shock that I even created it because I didn't even believe it was possible. So I was told it wasn't possible I was enforced by authorities that it wasn't possible and I pushed through it and then I did I learned that even I didn't believe it until I was on the outside and had my own company running making money and then looking at that I, it, it was evidence now that it was real well if you don't believe it's possible right um, and you agree with that then it'll be true right so I think that there's like this suspended element of allowing yourself to disbelieve or even in the face of believing that it's impossible to actually just lean into it and go through it because on the other side of impossible is possible, right? So it's kind of suspending that belief in the sense and to, to me, I'm a certified skydiver free fall, right? So I can jump out of a plane legally, you know, certified uh, with a parachute, hopefully, and free fall. And I think of that as the same thing as falling into the space of possibility is that there's nothing to grab onto because you don't have anything to grab onto, no belief, no nothing, just you're falling into what's possible. And then whatever comes up is what comes up. <laughs>